Hey guys, it's Kim with 5 Minute Cloth, and welcome to day four of the Flats and Hand Washing Challenge. So today I will be showing you how I wash my cloth diapers by hand. So what you see me doing here is rinsing off my daughter's nighttime diaper. I actually spray off most of her diapers before throwing them in the pail, and this makes washing so much easier and it cuts out an extra rinse step at the beginning. I use a bucket and a plunger method, and it's very simple. The first step is the pre-wash. I fill the bucket to the water level is just above the flat. You don't want to use too much water because there won't be good agitation, but you want to make sure there's enough that the water is washing through the diapers. So this is a good example of what that looks like, the just right water level in my opinion. I do this first wash cycle without any detergent and I do 50 plunges. I like to use a lid because it helps me be able to push harder and I get less splash back. I don't snap the lid all the way down but I do just kind of rest it on the top. After the 50 plunges I dump out the pre-wash water and you can see that it's running really clear even though this is just the first cycle and that is because I use the sprayer to spray off all of my diapers really well before I put them in the pail. Now we're on to the main wash. I use hot water for this and I fill it up that same level right above the flats and I'm going to add one tablespoon of Tide Original Powder. I have hard water but I have not found the need to add any water softeners. If you have softer water you might need to use a lot less than even just one tablespoon. If you add too much detergent, you will be rinsing and rinsing and rinsing. So as you've been seeing, I am plunging 50 plunges again, and then I will let it sit here for as long as I need. I'm gonna leave the lid on to keep the heat in. I have a set amount of time. I usually go make my kids lunch or you know whatever needs to be done, and then I come back and do the second set of 50 plunges. For the second set of 50 plunges, I pour out the soapy water and then it is time to start rinsing. So I quickly use my shower head and spray off each of the items and throw them back into the pail. This really, really helps rinse out a lot of the suds. If I only did it with the bucket and plunger, I feel like I would have to do at least two cycles. It only takes a couple of seconds to rinse each of them by hand using the shower head. So once I've rinsed them all with the shower head, I fill up the bucket again with cold water and I'm going to do 50 plunges. You can see here there's a little bit of suds left. I'm gonna do one last round with my shower head and that will get out any remaining suds. Next step is to wring out the flats. I find it a lot easier if the flat is not as thick, so I'll only fold it in half instead of making it into a big ball and wringing it. It's a lot easier on your hands this way. I also don't worry about getting every single bit out. I'd rather them be a little bit more wet than just destroy my hands wringing them. It might take a little bit longer for them to line dry. So if you have a very small stash, you might need to consider that. But for me, it's definitely not worth having pain in my hands. So I just squeeze them gently um, and call it a day. Next, I take my covers and booster and roll them up into a towel. This really helps to take out the liquid. It's hard to wring out covers and boosters that have multiple layers. They take a long time to dry, so if you get to roll them up and then have your kids stomp on them, this really, really, really cuts down on drying time. Last but not least, we are hanging up our flats and covers to dry. I like to use my drying rack but you can use a line or your hangers or whatever you have. All right, so that is my hand washing routine for flat cloth diapers. I hope this video is helpful and I'll catch you guys next time. Bye.